Hello! Thank you guys so much for coming to this video today. I really appreciate it. This video is going to be all about World Mobile. It is an important video. There's something happening called early staking rewards and also early node operator rewards. What is a node operator? It's actually like a staple operator, but for World Mobile, we're going to be going in into everything you need to know about being part of the early staking rewards and also being an early node operator. We're also going to be taking a look at what happened today. Initially, the early staking rewards and node operation was supposed to happen today, and there was a uh, discrepancy, uh, in my opinion, between the way that the rewards were paid out. And it was essentially, if you were in the first five of being a node operator, you got 96,000 tokens from your 100,000. But if you were in the top or the bottom 90%, you only got 18,000 tokens and only an 18% reward. So we're going to be going over the early staking rewards, everything you need to know, what happened today, when they're coming in the future, their response, uh, the issues, all of the details. That's what this video is today. I will say some negative things about World Mobile, but of course I'll also say some positive. Um, and I don't mean to be so, you know, brash, but this is what supporting a protocol looks like. If you go look at my past videos about Cardano, not all of them were rainbows. If you think that me saying anything about World Mobile is negative and makes you feel type away, then that's, you know, maybe you're a little overinvested. You know, because for things to be as good as they ought to be, you know, there needs to be a discussion, in my opinion, between the community because we are building decentralized protocols. This isn't a business where one man makes all the right decisions, right? So, you know, this is my opinion today. Uh, and I'm also with that opinion, I'm trying to educate you guys on everything you need to know to make sure you don't miss out uh, on any of these tokens. But if you guys do enjoy the video, even if you disagree with me, I'd love to hear your opinion down below or in the Discord server or in the Earthnode operator chat. I would love to hear it. Just because you disagree with me doesn't mean you have to hate me. You know, we'll have a discussion. You know, I'm always willing to be wrong. If you guys do want to support the channel, the best way you can do so is by delegating to Bloom. We have Bloom through Bloom 6. We actually minted the eighth block ever on the Cardano blockchain. We've been here from the beginning. We'll be here till your end. And we'll also be opening up a Bloom World Mobile Earth Node if you guys want to delegate to that when the time comes. Um, also, please like the video, comment down below, subscribe, click the notification bell, click all. It really does help the channel with the algorithm. But let's go into the meat of the video. So let me give you the general picture of World Mobile. World Mobile was a telecoms company started by Mickey. I've actually had him on the podcast. The best thing for you to do to learn more about World Mobile is just to watch the podcast down below. But to me, World Mobile is one of those projects that is really taking all of Car Cardano's ideologies and also Cardano's tools and bring those tools and utility to the real world to provide real value for real people. That is what I've always loved about World Mobile. You know, they're taking a lot of the incentive that blockchain can provide and the removing the, mil the middleman, the immutability, but also taking, you know, encryption and building it into the air node. So they're actually building better systems that we have uh, than we have in first world countries and they're building them in third world countries and they're using tokenomics and incentives to fund the rollout of these nodes. And they're not naive to think that they can build out all of these nodes across the whole world why don't we build a protocol that incentivizes everyone to build out this infrastructure to connect the unconnected, right? I believe in World Mobile. That's why I'm making this video today because I care. I care about World Mobile. And, you know, to give you the whole story, World Mobile was introduced. You know, everyone was really excited about it. But the next step of this was, you know, the public sale. In public sale, most of the people of Europe could participate, but it was very hard for people of the United States to participate uh, in other countries where they have you know rough walls. But that's not on World Mobile. That's how most public sales work. But the public sale happens. You know, everyone was cool with it. And uh, you know, what's coming up next is early staking rewards. And you might be wondering, you know, what are early staking rewards? Let's go into that. But the best website you can go to is worldmobiletoken.com. And from here, you can go to Docs. And from Docs, you can click Early Rewards, just like that. And we're going to go ahead and zoom in. You guys are looking at me like, what the, what the fuck is this dude holding a sure mic for? He's got to stand right there. I've been busy. I've been, I've been standing and making videos for you guys. But the Early Staking Rewards. This document defines the Early Staking Rewards distribution program, a six-month operation following the World Mobile Token Generation event, the DGE, and before mainnet launch. It's worth noting that one WMT can be subdivided up to six decimal places called Macronies. So it is important to note that this is only six months long. So if you disagree with anything in this video or you agree with me and you think what they're doing is wrong or anything, it's okay. It's over in six months. And that is uh, often a response that's brought up to me, you know, about my criticisms. But before we lay into my opinion, I want to get all the facts out there, but I want to state that this is only six months long uh, and it will be fair and open for all in six months. 
So the distribution, Earth node operators, there is 20 million tokens for them. It's distributed after six months. There is a public sale pool. And this is distributed every time there's a threshold reached. There's more on that later. And there's another 20 million for them. And there's also a private sale pool of 50 million tokens. And um, there's 10 million tokens for the private sale pool. So you might be asking me, right? You know, 50 million tokens, you know, that doesn't mean anything. We can all create tokens out of thin air. What is that in terms of the total supply? So the total supply uh, is 2 billion, right? The initial amount sold is 200 million. So we're going to confirm those numbers as we go further. If not, I will correct them on the screen. I am going uh, off the top of my head for those, but now to earth node operator table. You know, this is uh, very important to me because earth node operators are essentially the backbone of the world mobile. You know, they're the one processing transactions, they're submitting it to the network. You know, the earth nodes are what the air nodes connect to and the ether nodes. You know, these are the nodes that are distributed across the system that process transactions. And you know, your guys's delegation actually chooses who processes those transactions. But the first 0.5% of people, you know, this out of a thousand, earn a 94% return, 94,000 tokens on the 100,000 tokens that you have to put in to be an earth node operator. You have to put in 100,000 tokens to be an earth node operator, very important. So then the bottom 0.5%, really, so this is you know the second half of the top 1%, they earn a 78% return. The you know second percent earns a 60% return. The third percent earns a 48% return. The, I guess would be the, the third, 31st through the 40th people. Right. These are the people that selected this node, the 31st, you know, lock up my tokens for six months. I'm claiming this node, the top 31 to 40, they earn 36%, 41 to 50, they earn 30%. So this is the top 5% that we're dealing with here. This is only 5% of the thousand node users. And then finally, the last bracket, the last two brackets get much larger. So the last 5% in the top 10% earns a 24% return on their rewards. And then bottom. So this is the majority, everybody, this bottom tier right here, right? This is the 100th Earth node to the 1,000th 1, 1, Earth node, uh, and you're earning an 18% return off of the 100,000 World Mobile tokens that you put in. So one thing we should look at here is the difference in between the bottom and the top. And again, I'm not going to give my opinion just yet. We're going to go through the early staking rewards first before I give my opinion. I want to make sure you guys understand kind of what's going on here. So the bottom 90% actually earn a significant amount less, especially if you compare it to the top 4%. So 18,000 times five off the top of my head is 94,000. So 500% more returns if you're the first guy to be node operator. And please stay till the end of this video because your first thought is, you know, we should incentivize the backbone of our chain. And I agree with you, I really do. But it's not that simple. It's not that simple. Uh, the, you know, the second, 0.5% earns 78%. And again, the bottom, the 90%, the majority only earns 18%. And, you know, even the, the top 4%, I mean, that's twice as much, you know, that you're earning if you're in the first 40, right? Which in my eyes makes sense. You know, we have to incentivize earth node operators in the beginning to be the backbone of the chain, to ensure that the transactions are processed and to ensure the network can be ran, right? We'll get into that later in this video, but let's keep scrolling down. The early staking rewards. I also should mention, right? You, you might be wondering, when can I get these? When can I be a part of this? It was supposed to be this morning, but it was late. We'll go into that more later in this video. So the early staking rewards. Threshold number one that we're looking at here. Now this one is a bit complicated, at least at first glance. It's not complicated once you understand what's happening here. So there, there are these threshold tiers, right? And these threshold tiers are what actually unlock a 9% yield on what's in there. So let's say you're lucky and you get online, you create a worldmobiletoken.com vault and you get your early staking rewards in first. Well, if you get your, your rewards in first, you're a part of this threshold one before 500,000 and you get the 45,000 tokens. And if you keep your, you know, your world mobile tokens locked in there, then you will get the returns for the rest of these thresholds. So let's say you make it in there at 250,000. Well, you're going to get th threshold one. You're going to get a piece of the pie from here relative to the amount that you put in. And you're going to get threshold two through nine. So you're going to earn these token locks the whole way through. So you earn a large, large percentage for doing that. And it's, it's consistently around 9% each time. And, you know, let's say, let's give you a different scenario here. 
let's say that you know you get in to let's say you get in around 1.2 million right there's already 1.2 million staked in the public pool and you put your you know your world mobile token stake in there that means you're going to be able to get tier three through nine so the early you the earlier that you're in the public staking pool the more returns that you get but do not confuse the public sales staking pool with staking to a real pool staking to a real pool is going to come from a net the public sale pool staking is not staking it's not a staking pool it's not staking at all you're getting paid to be an early adopter of world mobile and i don't think there's anything wrong with that right but just uh, just for you, you to understand what's going on you're not staking to bloom or the world mobile pool you're just you know stating that i have my tokens locked up for six months and in return for that you know you guys are going to pay me nine percent upon each of these thresholds right so to earn the most returns it'd be best to get in before threshold one is reached and just collect all that paper right all that all that world mobile tokens all those uh all those bytes but you know i am big pay and what i like to do is you know be a node operator so that's what i'm really focused on here but i hope that explains you know how these thresholds works uh, and the way that you actually be a part of either of these things is you go to worldmobiletoken.com and you create a vault you write down your recovery phrase you save your password and then on the time that they release i'll keep it in the description of this video that is when you can log in there and claim your rewards but stating all of that i want to go into my opinion a little bit uh, specifically speaking from a cardano staple operator uh, and also a future node operator about the distribution of the rewards uh, and also you know the thought behind it and the game theory right because that's what this is this is game theory earlier we talked about you know incentive and one of the coolest things about the blockchain is that you can provide incentive in a transparent way you know how do we get people to do something how do we get people to operate nodes or to build infrastructure pay them how do you get staple operators to you know come out of their mom's basement you just pay them pay them right so that's what world mobile is doing which i think is a great idea but you know hearing about this i'm like well heck yeah you know looking at this this rewards distribution you know i know how to be a staple operator i learned linux for this i i i can do this and then I start looking at the top five, and I'm like, well, the top five node operators earn 94% on the 100,000 tokens they put in, 94%. Whereas the bottom 90%, you know, this is the average, earn 18,000. One thing to note, though, one thing to note is that if all of the nodes do not fill up in the last year, the bottom 9%, then more will be distributed between all of them. So essentially what I'm saying is, if you're in the bottom 90%, and you're really not the bottom 90%. Not all 1,000 nodes are taken. Let's say only 800 of them are. The 200 that are missing, the extra rewards will be distributed back into the top or the bottom you know, percent and not up to the top tier. It's important to note. Another important thing to note about this game theory is that you also have to keep the early staking rewards a part of the Earth node operator's table. Right, because why would anyone choose to be an Earth Node operator if you can unlock nine percent, nine percent, nine percent, nine percent over and over and over again? Right. Well, my answer to that is because we don't really care, you know, about earning a hundred percent. You know, we just want to be Earth Node operators. You know, we'll make our money back in the future. You know, from supporting the protocol and from being valuable actors in the protocol. Um, and looking at this, you know, me personally, it just seems, you know, to only benefit the select few. Right. Well, if we're actually operating node, then maybe not. Maybe, as I said earlier, it's good to provide incentive to the first five people that operate a node. You know, you have this strong backbone uh, of the blockchain, and you also have people that you know are going to be there, right? Because they're making that much money. They're going to provide some good infrastructure. Well, in my opinion, that is wrong, and that is incorrect thinking, because the Earth node operation, it is not building a server on Linux. It is not doing anything for World Mobile. It's not connecting the unconnected or providing any value to the real world. It is simply logging in to the World Mobile vault on worldmobiletoken.com and clicking a button. And the button that you're clicking is stating that you're reserving an Earth node, right? So then now looking at this table again after knowing that data, we now see that these 1,000 Earth nodes, right, and you're limited to five per person, you know, per account, by the way, so it's not just one per person. Well, looking at these 1,000 nodes, you know, that essentially means that you're not incentivizing anything that benefits the protocol. You're inflating the protocol to give rewards to Earth node speculators that are just clicking a button, right? You know, we don't have to use World Mobile node software, start it up, connect to a bunch of peers, 
um, and then register some metadata to the chain stating that this is my pool. You know, we don't even have to do that. All we have to do is make an account and click a button. And, you know, we are giving the fastest button clickers 500% more than the slowest button clickers if all of them are filled. Very important note, right? I want to make sure I get all those important notes out there. And if I miss any, please comment down below. I'd appreciate it. And I think that actually led to the situation that happened today. So to get you guys up to date on what happened today is, you know, this was supposed to start. The Earth Node reservation and the early staking reward reservation was supposed to happen today. And we all woke up at 7 a.m. Eastern time or 11 UTC to reserve our node, you know, or to earn our early staking rewards, make some cheddar, right? Well, because the incentive was so lopsided and in incentivizing people to be early, all of the servers crashed, right? And I think for a lot of people that did leave a bad taste, you know, in their mouth, because it seemed kind of obvious that this was going to happen. But stating that they're all people and people make mistakes. That doesn't mean the protocol's dead because they had either servers crash one day. But stating that, you know, if you would have looked at any NFT drop uh, in the past few months on Cardano, then you would know that this was inevitable, especially if you lopsided the rewards to those in the beginning, right? So my proposal, you know, without just complaining, is why don't we redistribute these awards a little more fairly now that there's the chance, now that this is delayed, now that we know that incentivizing the people in the beginning does nothing for the protocol because they are earth node speculators. You know, these aren't your staple operators like Digi and Andrew Westberg and, you know, all the other great pools. You know, these are button speculators that don't even have to do a pool or confirm they're going to make anything. It is whoever clicks this button makes five times the amount than those that do not. And, and, and you know, this isn't even talking about fairness or latency issues or timing or, or anything. You know, in my opinion, we should incentivize real node operation. We should inflate the protocol only with that that benefits the protocol, but stating that there is some benefit in, in rewarding those early adopters, right? But the, that benefit is the early staking rewards. Why does earth node operation have to be a part of this, right? Why are we playing against button speculators when I am actually going to be processing transactions and actually adding value for Ward Mobile? Why are we participating in button speculation? And why, if we are, do those that click the button the fastest earn 500% more than those that do not? My proposition is to relook at these rewards and consider a fair distribution for all and not just those in the top 1%, 2%, or 3%. My proposition is to expand, right? If we still need to incentivize early users and we want to incentivize a thousand node operators, then what we need to do is take this distribution and make it from one to 100 or one to 250 or one to 50 instead of one to five, right? And so let's do one to 200 and then 200 to 400. You know, let's make sure that this is fair and it does incentivize node operators and not button clickers. That is what I recommend because you know what this does the, the, the average response that I got from people in the chat was, well, Peyton, don't you know that this is forcing everyone to lock up their tokens for six months? And w when that was said to me, and it was by, you know, somebody at, not at World Mobile, but somebody in the community, a very prominent member in the community, Peyton, but don't you know that that locks up tokens for six months? Six months? Who fucking cares? I don't care. I don't care about locking up tokens for six months. I don't. Because what does that do? It raises the price. It keeps the price higher. It makes it so the people in the private sale don't sell. I don't care. I want to connect the unconnected. I want to provide real value to this world. So who cares about the short-term price in the next six months? And that's my whole argument here. And I brought this argument up two months ago is why are we incentivizing nothing? Why don't we incentivize earth node operators to learn how to be valuable to protocol? And also incentivize earth node or not earth node, but early users through the public staking rewards. And it's like, why is this man yelling at camera? Partially because it's entertaining and partially because I am passionate about this. I don't think that we should be looking at the, the world mobile tokenomics purely as a price pump. I don't think that we should be worried about making everyone lock up their tokens for six months so the price remains high so the private sale holders don't sell. I think we should be focused on connecting the unconnected. And these tokenomics currently, in the way that they stand, have done nothing but incentivize speculators and not people that want to provide real value to the protocol. But stating that I don't know everything, but I wanted to make this video today. Love everybody at World Mobile. 
I hope this video explained some things and was helpful. If you guys have any questions, join the Discord server down below. Also comment down below. I'd love to hear your opinions. But let's make let's make this reward distribution a little more fair at minimum. It would also be cool if we could incentivize a real node operation and not just speculators. Because what's going to happen if these 1,000 slots do sell, fill up? And one guy reserves five and he's just one guy with a bag of money. He's just going to sell his Earth node reservation to somebody else that is actually going to be good for the protocol. And that's sad. That's sad. But um, I hope you guys all have a good rest of your week. I do. I do. See you guys.